Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another installment of TreeWord Review. Today's review, Stargazer Gundam. Now, I've had this set for a while, and it's a really nice set. So, I figured, hey, why not? Uh, first, let's take a look at the box. Like the set itself, it's a very nice box. I love all this. I love all the Gundam seed box art and stuff. They look all they look dynamic and finely detailed and whatnot. Compared to the cartoonish look of some of the double O stuff. Well, not to say double O stuff looks cartoony, it's just these appear to be more um roughly painted. On the side is a you can see this is number forty seven in the I don't know, Stargazer line or, or Sun Gun Seed line, I have no clue. On the side is a bunch of glamour shots of the, of the model itself. And some gimmicks. Yay, gimmicks. And to the other side, we've got the pilots. I don't know their names. One's a chick and one is either a chick or a very effeminate dude. Here's a model touched up by Photoshop because it doesn't really glow. And some screenshots from the OVAs. Uh, yep. And we'll start by taking a look at the Stargazer itself. It's a very unique mobile suit. Um, in that, well, in the show, it's not really designed to fight. It's more of an exploration suit. The giant ring on its back is supposed to suck in and spit out energy. To propel this thing forward constantly, constantly at a faster and faster rate. There you go. If it keeps moving, it'll eventually become faster. Of course, it can actually fight. It emits these green particle things, and those kind of deflect lasers or something, and probably, probably chop through hunks of metal like uh, sand through, like a knife through sand. And this thing is kind of back heavy, so it tends to fall back a lot. So you gotta position them just right. For articulation, um, its head can rotate 360 degrees, no problem, because there's nothing blocking it. It also can do the whole gun fa infamous Gundam uh, quagmire chicken neck thing, and can look up and down pretty well. And look at that. That is totally disappointment face. I can picture just Gendo Ikari staring at his tiny little son, just saying, I don't care about you. Its arms could rotate a full 360 if it weren't for the back, but eh. You can go up and down here, rotate at the upper bicep. I really hate these uh, shoulder joints right here. I mean, yeah, they're okay, but they're, they're fairly loose. So, it's kind of a problem. The arms only bend at a 90. Elbows bend at 90, that's about it. And the wrist is just a basic ball joint, so you can pretty much figure that out for yourselves. The waist could rotate a full 360, but it gets hindered by the backpack. Yeah. Legs are pretty good. It goes forward about this much, and the side skirts uh, come together right now over me. Eh. But you can split them by just twisting a knob or something. And they bend backwards at a double joint. They go back about this far because it hits the stationary back skirt, and it, which does not move. The feet are pretty good. They are on a typical ball joint. They don't bend for they don't uh, bend forward much, but they do bend back. However, there is a secondary joint that allows it to bend a very, very much forward. So, you can get quite a bit of poses from that. Of course, I don't think that really matters, since you're probably only going to be putting this thing into one pose anyway. That. We should cover the backpack's posability. Yes, this thing is very, very posable. You could split them. First of all... It comes, this thing is on a joint, so it can come down like this. This thing actually, let's see if I can do this. 
extends a little. The ring is the ring itself is actually on two polycap joints. And then this thing is on another polycap joint. Then when you split it, these are just free moving, just simple peg joint system. They they even rotate up and they rotate right here. And so that's a very wide range of motion for a simple backpack. But then again, this isn't a simple backpack. So I suppose that works. Let me just put this back. Hang on a second. And here we go. This. Oh look, it's a smiley face in the back. Oh ho ho ho. Now for accessories, they're they're few and far and far between. The first one is this gun right here. Looks more like a pistol. Oh no, I broke it. No, I didn't. Kind of looks like a little mini pea shooter. Uh, I don't know. It looks a little plain, but I like plain, I guess. Let's plug that back in. Also, I did. I forgot to mention. Uh, the wrist also has a slight uh, forward and back movement too, courtesy of the De see Destiny Stargazer looking joints. Other things it comes with. A stand. It comes with pretty much every single Gundam seed kit, I think. And you can put them on the stand, too. See? Just, just plug it into its butt. And you've got a Gundam standing up. And that's sort of, I don't know, just plain. But that's why you have this. Clear green particle circle thingies. And that's pretty much what this kit is known for. You, all you gotta do is just remove them from the thing. Plug this into the thing. And then plug Stargazer right back into it. Pretty simple. But the effect, once you get it all lined up, is very nice. It reminds me of a, a planet or something. But yeah, this is why you get this kit. This thing. Also, I'm not sure if it comes with one, but if you have one of these forward-leaning stand pieces, you can recreate the pose on the box. And now that the actual robot's side, let's see what else comes in the box. Two st identical sticker sheets, different in only the color of the lines. One in black, which is this one, and one in shiny greenish gold. Um, and if you're like me, you probably went for the shiny greenish gold. But it's nice that they gave you the option. I mean, I mean, yeah, but now I have a sticker sheet full of lines that I'm probably never going to use. But it's nice that they gave you the option. Here's the instruction manual, full of nice little things. Oh look, it's a picture of the Stargazer's inner frame. Some more pictures. Oh yeah, I forgot. It, it's a little, it's a little annoying to set up, but the ring can actually become a standard zone. It can also become some sort of a flight propeller thing. Also worth noting, thanks for the, to this thing that reminded me, is that these legs open up and have a little thruster thing inside. But yeah, all in all, a pretty good set. I forgot how much it cost, but I can take a good, I can take a look real quick. According to the box, it's about 1,600 yen, which is anywhere from 15 to 18 American dollars. So, I, I like this kit. I recommend it, even if you haven't seen Gundam Seed or Gundam Seed Destiny or Gundam Seed Stargazer. It's look, it's it a nice buy. It's something to something to kill your time with, while, and while adding a nice display piece to your room or office or wherever you decide to put it. Uh, this is Treeward, signing off, and I'll see you next time I decide to review something.